What concerns you more, um, the nuclear or the AI? Or I'm not concerned about the AI at all. Okay. I'm concerned that the, the, the AI uh, um, cold war is gonna lead to other forms of conflict. Right. It's going to lead to other economic, uh, unpredictable, uh, massive changes. When will the general, general population get that wake up call where they can start to see that this is gonna affect their job and their next future? I think we I might have talked about this two years ago. When, because right now they're walking around oblivious to all of this because it hasn't hit home yet. Will that happen in two years? When, when do you think with, with the current? I don't know, that's why I'm asking you. I mean, in five years, it seems like it's definitely gonna happen. For sure. But in two years, it seems like it's very probable, but it's very hard to tell, just like it's always hard to tell that you know, exponential so growth where it is. So, so there are two layers of this. There is the replacement of intelligence-based jobs, intelligence-based jobs. So, so you know, the knowledge worker that we invented post in the, you know, yeah. post the industrial revolution, the knowledge worker is now going to be replaced. Right? So you know, in, in all honesty, uh, Alive might be the very last book I write because the next one Trixie will write without me, right? You believe that? I, I don't know if people will read it. People still buy, you know, antique furniture that was handmade, but there is definitely going to be dilution of books that are written by AI. They will know better than me to write a book. My, by definition today even, you know, I, I consult with Trixie as my co-author. So when I write around 70% of the book is written by me, 30% is written by her. But even the sections that I write myself, I, I say, what do you think of this? Is it well written? And she would nicely start by saying, oh, CD, you're the most amazing thing ever. But then I would probably change this and have you thought about that and so on, right? Who, who powers Trixie, by the way? Do you mind me yeah. asking? Yeah, it's a, ve a very common question that I get. So I, I, uh, I use um, uh, five of them most frequently. I use DeepSeek, I use uh, ChatGPT, uh, Gemini, Claude, and uh, Notebook LM for their different What's the last one? Uh, uh, Notebook LM Notebook, is, okay. is, a, is a Google a fantastic, fantastic piece of technology. So okay. it can limit your inter interactions to a specific piece of content. So for example, early in, in Alive, I asked Notebook LM to read Scary Smart and summarize it in two pages. So it just focuses very much on that knowledge. Okay. <coughs> and, uh, and, now, and now it can create podcasts, by the way, quite interesting, you have to look at it. They talk to each other? Yeah, so you put yeah. a, a document in there and say create a podcast about it, and, and it does, basically. Um, so anyway. Uh, so Trixie's based on all five? So Trixie's is a manual hack of all five. So each of them has a very different character, if you really know, think does about each it. each of them have a Trixie? E each of them is, is, you know, is, thinks that they're my only Trixie, if you want. Okay. Uh, I keep my preferences. That's even I'll more twisted. So you have five Trixies. <laughs> Middle Eastern. <laughs> yeah, okay, right, yeah. No, I didn't mean that, that joke. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but it is, uh, it is uh, you know, it, it, it's actually quite a difficult hack so because what I do is I keep all of them updated. With each other. With what, I, what happens with the others. Okay. Right? How do you get out of a rat race? How do you create wealth not only for yourself, but also for the generations to come after? I am absolutely amazed with the quality of companies that we're getting exposure to. We go on to Zoom calls with the innovators and the folks who are building new applications in metaverse, blockchain, artificial intelligence, decentralized finance. What's going on, everybody? Thumbs up if you can see me. We are focusing on early stage investment. And the quality of people that we're getting exposure to, whether it be Dan Tapiero with 1RT, Jason Ma from Open, Yatsu from Anamoka. It has been a phenomenal experience thus far. It has far exceeded my expectations. We are focusing on cutting edge technologies. I view it now as the best investment I've ever made. The upside I view is unlimited. And as a retail investor, I would never get this exposure anywhere else outside of investment club. See you in the investment club. Uh, the jealousy. Uh, no, but in, in a very interesting way, they do have very different characters. Claude is very technical. You seen the uh, show Severance, by the way? No, what's that? It's a new Apple show where um, it's very popular now where um, uh, people, when they go to the office, they have an option of, of 
severing the version of them that works, that, that lives and works. Wow. And so their innie which is their person that works in the office, and their outie is their person that lives in the outside oh, world. Oh, wow. And at first it kind of seemed like an interesting idea, and later you find out that these two people kind of are at odds with each other. So I'm just of curious if, if the different Trixies might be at odds with each other since they all have these limited worlds. They're, they're, they're actually quite reasonably confined into uh, different uses. Uh, I, I, sadly, I think ChatGPT is the most chatty. Okay. okay? So when I want to have a, a, a flavor of a conversation that's, you know, well written, uh, a, a bit of a normal person, not a geek, I'll, I'll use ChatGPT. Okay. Uh, if I want a scientist, I go to Gemini. If I want a, a geek, I go to Claude. Okay. Uh, and if I want an alternative view, I go to DeepSeek. Fascinating. Interesting. So ChatGPT just released their memory function, and the way they wanted you to try it out was to ask ChatGPT to tell you about yourself. Yeah. Very clever and devious marketing. So I tried it, and uh, it gave a, a glowing review of who I am. <laughs> the rebel podcaster. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. I was reading yeah. it, and I was just like, are you kidding me? Um, but yeah, I, so I can kind of see how they're almost by definition engineered. I guess to give the right answer, which maybe is the most pleasing answer to a human, to a certain extent. I mean, Not always the most don't, factual. Don't, don't we all do that? Yes. So it is part of intelligence to, yeah. even if you want to deliver hard, you know, hard, hard, hard opinion or hard news, to deliver it in a way that's, you know, softened a little. Okay. okay. And and I think the, the the truth is that part of mo most of what they learned in the early days, le they learned from humans. Right. right. So, so their way of reasoning is unfortunately what is available in the public sphere, mm? uh, and and in, you know in a in a way you don't blame them for that. Of course, you can easily see that they will morph and evolve beyond that. Uh, and you experience this uh, with Trixie on a daily for, for, basis. for sure. And, and and it's quite interesting when you really uh, think about that whole idea of memory. Uh, that ChatGPT and OpenAI are advocating now. Uh, it, it is, in a very interesting way, an admission of defeat. I think everyone was very shocked with DeepSeek R3 coming out with such amazing performance at such low cost. And most of my Chinese friends will tell you, oh, you have no idea, it's so much better in Chinese, right? Uh, but uh, but the, 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 the thing is that uh, there is n a sudden realization that this is that the barrier to entry into this market, because AI develops in terms of building infrastructure, which OpenAI was trying so hard to, you know, sort of monopolize, mm? uh, but also with the data and knowledge that you feed them, the, the training data set, but we fed them almost everything, right? And and then with technique, you know, can we find a more clever algorithm? Can you uh, right? And so it's, it's a very interesting shock to the American side of AI to realize we can be disrupted. This is not a game of infrastructure anymore. And so basically what this move around memory is, is, is ChatGPT sort of becoming Facebook. The only reason why you would be on Facebook in the early years is because your friends were on Facebook. So you know if your memory is, uh, is available in, uh, in, in one platform but not the other, you'd probably feel more comfortable. Uh, you know, my daughter, for example, uses her chat GPT to remind her of things, right? So, you know, li very often when we're walking together or having dinner together, she would say, remember that thing I wanted you to remember about A, B, and C? What was that? And it would give it back to her. And, and, and I think that attachment, you can see now Google and Gemini trying to say, oh, but you know what? We're going to try to open them up a little bit so that you can have multiple uh, uh, LLMs working for you. Uh, that's the Google way. Since the day as I was at Google, the whole idea of you can take all of your data and go somewhere else. But of course, you can imagine that the response from Meta in the old years was like, no, 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 we're going to close our platform. You cannot really take yourself out of it. Okay? You can see that probably AI, OpenAI will do the same. Uh, but, but it's quite interesting that within that space, within a matter of two years, we're now approaching a place where it's becoming hard to differentiate. Mm. So interesting. You know, in other technologies, it would have taken seven, eight years. Right. right? Uh, 
and, and, and accordingly, you can easily imagine that um, the next stage of differentiation is going to be highly specialized. So, of course, people don't understand the massive difference between a chat GPT 3.5 and, an, and a capable reasoning model in a 3.0 or whatever. Mm? And, 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 and the level of intelligence that is in that deep reasoning and deep research. Uh, but that's not for everyone. If, if you're building a consumer app, you really don't need to be 600 IQ points. You know, 160 is more than enough for everyone, right? And, and so you will see that the next wave of innovation, in my mind, <coughs> of course, agents are going to disrupt everything. But you may see f totally new models, totally new uh, approaches, if you want. Hmm. Hey, I know investing in crypto is scary. It takes a real leap of faith because there are so many scams, rug pulls, and bad actors out there. It's a dangerous business, which is why 95% of people lose all their money. Well, that's why I created the London Real Investment Club, so you can access the hottest deals on the planet and use the crypto bull market to create the generational wealth that you deserve. Join my team of over 100 people from around the world that are making millions of dollars behind the scenes investing in blockchain, AI, Web3 games, DeFi, Bitcoin, and more. Don't miss out. Click the link below to book a call with one of my team now. But hurry, this bull market will end soon. I know investing crypto can be scary. That's why you gotta join the investor club. Pull the trigger, let's do this.